uh, I don't want to click any of these convert to uh, by accident. So what can I enable now? No, I can't do it. It's this one, right? Yeah, the yearly, the yearly uh, prestige. Why not? Introduce fishing quest. I, I needed a rural with uh, a minister of skill of at least three for this. So yeah, I'll take it. Improve our prestige. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, I think. I mean, it would give me a stability. Um, how much prestige can I get? It is my rival. 5.5, no. I I'm not gonna uh, get 50 prestige anytime soon, will I? Um, I'm gonna... Oh, I did I uh, did I send him to Ayutthaya instead of Lang Sang? Yeah, I probably did. So you go there, and in six days I'm, I'll send another one. You will win this battle, right? Yeah, you will. Um, why did oh this this guy got caught, didn't he? I should send him back. 11th of September, I'll totally forget it. Um, will I lose uh, legitimacy now? If I roll marry him? Yeah, 5 legitimacy loss. I should probably do it. I mean, it'll take up. In the game of Thrones, like uh, when using, uh, when doing royal marriages, if your king is young, it's always uh, a good idea to do the royal marriages yourself. If your king is old, then accept uh, royal marriages from uh, other young kings. That's that's the best idea because uh, whoever sends the royal marriage uh, proposal, that decides uh, when the royal marriage will break. If I send uh, a royal marriage to Ava, it will break when my ruler dies. If I accept the royal marriage offer from Ava, then it will break when their ruler dies. I wonder where he's gonna route to. Probably Manipur or Assam or whatever. He hasn't got a pro. Oh, because he has this and that occupied. So he yeah, he can only he can only route to. Uh, the next province. <laughs> I don't have a general now, so I don't know if I got, got any good uh, military. Yeah, 11.7. Um, the foreign expert event requires you to be below uh, 20 army tradition, so it can fire again, actually. So here's to hoping. Um, biannual, biannual events can chain fire, like. Uh, you can get seven military, four military experts in a row each two years, theoretically. Can't hope for it, but I already got it twice now in two att two attempts. So. Um, am I close to any good? No, the next military. Uh, I should go for a general. Really, I need one. I'll take him. Two, two, one, one. Yeah, one siege, but two shock. That's uh, not bad for uh, 11 more. Uh, for 11 more, do I want to consolidate the troops? Nah, uh, I am at my force limit. I'm only using normal infantry, and and I am at a like what? The maximum is 12,000. How did I get 13,000 then? Huh. Um. Whatever. I don't know. Can't worry about these things. So this should be a wipe. Unless my uh, broken regiments will actually prevent it. But no. I can't see that happening. Yeah, wipe. By uh, Yu Tang. Uh, Kama me. So you can go. Yeah, just go back. Oh, wait, no. You can siege this back. And I'll siege. Uh, this back with one guy and back to looting. I'm actually curious now what uh what he sang will do now. <laughs> I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I just dismissed an uh, an army reformer.
and I got another one next month. Okay, and now to make absolutely sure that I don't click this, but uh, recruit advisor. I misclicked on this. I clicked on this the last time instead of this. So. Yeah, I need more morale. Of our, morale, uh, army morale is more important in this century than discipline. I would get a discipline guy in the probably seven, seventeenth or eighteenth century, but now morale is king. If you play a nation with uh, huge morale bonuses, and if you took defensive and God knows what other uh, stuff that increases your morale, then then morale can actually be discipline even late game. That's my opinion. Many people will probably disagree with that, but I did it as uh, uh, in my 113 uh, campaign as king. I stacked morale to to the top and just did an uh i won battles that way against uh, a fully fledged discipline brandenburg i just threw bodies at him with high morale and bled him out uh when was it that i could resend this guy yeah i can okay peace offer from calm he's gonna he's simply gonna wait forever will he <laughs> we both gonna say hey Sod off. You, you'd say he's waiting for me to peace out. I'm waiting for him to peace out. Well, I can wait. Um, 29. Well, uh, I assigned uh, a state to Naga. Yeah, now I can uh, convert Naga. Does this mean uh, I get... Yeah, it'll tick up again. Um, it's probably a good idea to wait a bit to uh, convert Naga until this goes back to zero. Uh, below zero to uh, never mind. You'll see what I mean. There, uh, because the revolt risk is, is negative, uh, the rebel factions here you lose uh, ten percent a month each for each month. Uh, the rebel risk is at uh, zero percent in every province. So I'll just wait until they're gone and then uh, convert the province and then they won't have the time to go to 90%. They probably won't, don't have the time to go from... Uh... Anyways, but I'll wait. Okay. They peaced out. See, only one province. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. So I gotta, gotta siege up his capital now and be done with it. Uh, they are, yeah, they are still uh, fully looted, so you can go siege that up. So it, it probably uh, was, uh, as I uh, said before, the minute they lose uh, all of their occupations, you sang will uh, ma then you sang made the peace. Well, works for me. Oh no. See, that's why I um, enable all the pop-ups. This tells me that Bengal is trying to get an alliance with Mewar. They are probably trying to do that. That is not good. I don't want Bengal to ally Mewar. Oh, wait, what? Did I click on the long? Yeah, this is what I need. Um, no, it's not. How can you see? Ah, oh, I gotta look at it this way. Huh? Bengalese attitude toward the more neutral. Yeah, they, they uh, are the enemy. Do they share a rival? Ahmanis Orissa? Yeah, they do, probably. No, they don't. Yeah, Bagmanis. That's not good. <sighs> Wait. I'm seeing this wrong, right? No, they don't share it. Well, anyhow. I don't want my Mewar to ally Bengal.
You got a Sig Siege General uh, bar barbecue for the win. A Sig Siege General? I never saw that. Yeah, rule of personality. Um, they are a free. No, it's not. Uh, Londoner two four seven is saying, isn't it? Uh, isn't it says so if the gift is uh, g because of their uh, rule of personality. It says then in, uh, in the in the pop up it, it actually says uh, because uh, the ruler is a naive enthusiast he will he, he, he made a gift, but he isn't. So he is a diplomat, so, so he, he'll probably do his best to ally Mavar. And that's not good news. This tells me I, I if anything I should uh, I should attack Bengal, but. I can't win versus Bengal. They got like 30,000 troops probably. More. 29,000. Okay, I, I can't. Even if I call in uh, Ava, I would still be... I don't know. Uh, um, one thing at a time. Yeah, by uh, Delhi. I actually am uh, a bit concerned that uh, Timurids might be going. I mean, Jean Pure uh, has no powerful allies. If Timurids decides to invade Jean Pure and get all the provinces needed, like Delhi, Upper Daobab, and uh, stuff, I can't remember exactly. Central Daobab, to, to form the Mughals, I mean. I mean, if Ming, uh, if the Timurids form the Mughals, that's bad news. Then they got a claim on a entire India, including me. Uh, no, I don't want that. But that's what uh, that's what very hard throws at you. Timurids and Ming are very stable, so you won't see Persia on very hard. Well, you can, but the chance is lower. <sighs> Conquest of Delhi. Yeah. Oh, he is a. Uh, He's building a troop again, so I'll just uh, seat uh, up the capital. And Sadia so should integrate now, next month. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to uh, kill some of my troops then. The moment I. Uh... On the other hand. Um... Annexing calm might actually meet my force limits. Uh, yeah, there we go. City I integrated. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, that's what I mean. Alliance breaking you, Tsang. I should have known about I, I, I told you about this. It's easy to, uh, to not see this. It's because I flagged uh, I shouldn't have done that. I bloody shouldn't have fired. Damn it! I shouldn't have done it. My, my, that's why I don't flag territory as vital interest. I mean, he, they still got, yeah, they got it flagged. I got it flagged, so they will break alliance now because we got uh, we share vital interest. I'm not sure. I, I probably think I can't unflag it while being at war. Oh wait, no. Oh, I can. Oh, that's good news then. Okay, I, I don't see this territory. Yeah, I mean, you can have it. Yeah. Oh, wait, it might have been because uh, I had vital territory on their province. Not not on this, but I, I'll unflag it now. I mean, flagging vital territory only gives problems. Especially if, if, an, if an ally is near. I never do it. It's a real silly mechanic, really. I never liked uh, vital vital territory uh, it, it can break alliances in, in a jiffy I'm lucky I noticed it and see this proves me right by pop up you'd saying like you'd saying yeah we are best friends again huh um, I don't need to seize this province with 10k four is enough my general did have uh, a siege pick right so uh, I'll leave him there and I'll just go. What province didn't I? Didn't I loot? Yeah, 